Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm calling it, I build and encourage one another as the day of the Lord approaches. Sorry if I sound funny and my nose is a bit blocked, even though it's probably the, one of the warmest days of the year. Um, so as Christians, we must love one another and that build and encourage one another. Satan wants to seek to devour us. Let us not give Satan a hand in this, but let all Christians unite in love and fellowship encouraging up building one another in our fight against Satan, the enemy of our souls. Um, let me just read a few scriptures here. Uh, Romans 12.10 Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love in honour, uh, preferring one another. Um, as Christians, we should be displaying the fruits of God's Holy Spirit. Let me just read that very quickly. The fruits of God's Holy Spirit. So what are they? Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against, against such things there is no law. So as Christians, do you show love to one another? Kindness, meekness, Remember what Jesus said, by their fruits you will recognise his disciples. Um, that's at Matthew 7, 15 to 20. It's Matthew um, 7, 15 to 20. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bring forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bring forth fruit, good fruit is, hone, is uh, good, not forth good fruit is honed down and cast into fire. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. By their fruits, you will know them. So do they have the fruit of love? Especially when they comment in the comment section, do they show love when you comment to each other? Kindness? Encouraging one another with scriptures? And if you have an argument with someone about a scriptural verse, do you reply in love, showing scripture to back up what you say? Praying for others? Always being polite and courteous to one another? Being careful how you also speak to one another. What we say can hurt people. So we need to be careful what we say. Remember what Jesus said in Matthew 12, 33 to 37. In Matthew 12, <clears throat> 33 to 37. <clears throat> Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by its fruit. A generation of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. <clears throat> a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bring forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they should give an account thereof in the day of judgment. Can you imagine that? Every idle word that we speak, we will be accountable for on the day of judgment. So these idle words could lead us to hell. What's idle word mean? A casual, uh, a word spoken carelessly, without thought, thinking it through, casually or thoughtlessly. In Proverbs 18.21, it speaks of death and life are in the power of the tongue. And that's at Proverbs 18, 21. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Also, if we read James 3, 6 to 8. So James 3, 6 to 8. <clears throat> G 
James 3, 6 to 8. <clears throat> and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity, so is the tongue among our members, that it defile the whole body, and set on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea, as tamed, and have been tamed of mankind, but the tongue cannot, can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. So, and even Jesus said at Matthew fifteen eleven, what comes out of a mouth defileth a man. So, Matthew fifteen eleven. Not that which go into the mouth defile a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Defileth means to spoil something so that this thing or person is less beautiful or pure, to make foul or dirty, taint, corrupt. With our mouths we praise God, but we also with our mouths we put down our brothers and sisters. James 3, 9-12 But if ye have respect up to persons, sorry, wrong one, James 3, um, 9 to 12. Therefore, bless we God, even the Father, and therein curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceeded blessings and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not to be, to be so. So, with our mouth, we bless God and pray to God, and then also with our mouths we curse our brothers and sisters if they don't agree with our teachings. So let us be more Christ-like and show love to all and to upbuild and comfort one another with words of love and kindness, reflecting Christ and how he spoke to others with love. And if we have an argument about a scripture, back it up with scripture. Don't just, just say, well, I don't believe it. Back out what you say with scripture in your comments so we can respond in love and with scriptures. Um, we must imitate Jesus Christ our King by showing love and kindness to others. As Jesus said to John fifteen twelve, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. So you're breaking Jesus' commandment if you don't show love for one another. Because this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Jesus even taught to love your enemies. <clears throat> That's uh, <clears throat> Matthew 5, 43 to 48. <clears throat> it's Matthew 5, 43 to 48. You have heard that it has been said that thou shalt love thy neighbour and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and send rain on the just and unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans do the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the publicans do so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So are we following Jesus' commandments to love one another, even your enemies? Remember also, every idle word we speak, we will be accountable for on Judgment Day. So please pause and think before you speak or type a message. Show perfect love for one another as the day of the Lord soon approaches. So when we are finally with Jesus, uh, let us pray we hear these words from out of his mouth. And Matthew 25, <coughs> 21. So Matthew 25, 21. His Lord sound him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant, thou have been faithful over a few things, I'll make thee ruler of many things. Enter thou into joy of thy Lord. I had a comment saying, uh, 
saying, why don't you talk more about the blessed hope? I assume that's about the rapture. Many teach, you get many channels out there that teach about the rapture. But not many channels teach how to be worthy to go in a rapture. These are the words that Jesus said to me a few years back. He said, I've called you to preach the sin out of my church. Jesus set up this channel to get the church ready to be worthy to be raptured. Because as many, like I said, many people out there are teaching about the rapture. But you must live a holy life. As it says in scripture, without holiness you will not see the Lord. So I'll finish now and say, seek Jesus Christ today in heartfelt prayer and repentance. Turn away from sin. Live your life pleasing to God. And as Jesus said his commandment, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. So obey Jesus' commandments. Love one another and show it how you speak to one another. Anyway, I'll leave it there and say, God bless you all. Bye-bye.